Hello friend, welcome to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. My name is Tobal. I'm so freaking excited. I had a whole intro for, you know, talking about stuff. I don't care. Let's just go right into a brand new campaign. We've waited eight years for this moment and I, I'm like shaking. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's pick our character culture. We have a bunch of races. By the way, I've not seen anything about Bannerlord. This is all fresh to me. I purposely did not get my uh, get any kind of spoileriness going on. So it looks like we've got some culture background and then we've got a passive here. So the Vlandians have 20% more upgrade XP to troops from battles, which is great. Sturgeons are 20% less penalty from snow. Construction speed bonus for the Empire. The Azeri are caravans cheaper. Kuzates, Kuzats, 10% uh, bonus speed for horsemen. And forests give 10% less penalty to Batanians. Oh my god, what do we even go with right now? Cal, uh, you know what? I don't know, do we want to try to save the Calradian Empire, the Calradian Empire from falling apart? I feel like let's give it a shot. Let's go with the Empire. I'm going on a gut move here. I really, again, don't know anything about what's happening in Bannerlord. All of this is brand new to me. Awesome freaking face creator. All I care about, by the way, where is my beard? Where's my beard and how do I put it on my face? Excellent. We have a specific beard section tail worlds well done my friends i'm so very very proud of you that looks like a leader of men and women a future king or or noble i don't even know what you could do in banner lord i assume everything ever uh we'll go with something a little controlled not too shabby the hairstyle already i dig it don't really uh want to spend too much time on it so we're just gonna buzz right through it choose our family here we go we get to choose our background you were born into a fan a family of Okay, cool. So we actually get to see the stats as they change. So our stats right now, vigor, control, endurance, cunning, social intelligence. I'm assuming these are the attributes and then you've got child skills. Okay, so this would give us some polearm skill. I assume we're going to be uh, wanting to go with some kind of writing. Let's see, writing is going to be our... Yeah, what I actually want to do, if I can, is lean more towards the leadership side as I, I have in, in, in other playthroughs, basically trying to get our leadership up ahead of time. It doesn't look like that's an option right now. Scouting, what about map speed? What I really want is roguery. That's awesome. Oh my God, there's so much new stuff. Uh, steward, settlement increasing, prosperity, engineering, stuff like that, trade. I'm really wanting the overland map speed. But I, I don't know which stats are which, so I suppose, yeah, sure, writing's not too bad. We're going to say we were born into the family of a, land, uh, a landlord's retainers. Ten skill level and one focus point to riding, polearm, and vigor. Sure. Our father was a trusted lieutenant of the local land-owning aristocrat. He rode with the Lord's cavalry fighting as an armored lancer. This is us as a baby. We're so cute. So as a child, we were known for our... You know what? Let's go with leadership skills because, again, I want that little bit of leadership also your way with people this would give us a bonus to charm what did the other one give us this is 10 skill yeah that's that um i feel like leadership and cunning would be a pretty good choice we are trying to lean on the leadership side which means we're going to be able to fill larger groups like all village children you helped out in the fields uh let's see sheep herder we've got stuff like village smithy repaired projects anything with leadership not quite more social stuff sold produce at the market uh, I think athletics wouldn't be bad. Anything that lets us... That's a two-hand increase. I'm not sure how much this is all going to stack, by the way. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm like... I'm like... I can't even stop. I can't even stop to look. We'll go ahead and say we herded sheep. We ran around and chased the sheep. As a youngster growing up in Colorado, war was never too far away. We... Uh, a bunch of choices here. Train with the cavalry. More riding skills. So you can stack skills. Good to know. Again, trying to find anything with leadership, but not a whole lot available to us. So I think we'll go with anything sword and boardy. That will give us a one-handed and a polearm. Trained with the infantry. I think I kind of want to get the riding though. Riding seems like unexpected, including care. I'm wondering if riding gives us a bonus to our overland map speed or not, but we're going to just jump right in. Choose your young adulthood before you set out for a life of adventure. Your biggest achievo was defeated an enemy in battle. Uh, you led a successful manhunt. There we go. Another point into leadership. This might be the only points you can get into leadership was the two we've selected so far. So we're going to say that we we led a successful manhunt 
for a criminal. And then we have, uh, let's see, subdued a raider. What is this stuff? Like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Your parents were slain in the two youngest siblings seas, but you and your brother survived because we're badass. Uh, anything else for leadership? Yes, you organized the travelers to break out. So again, I am stacking that leadership. All right, we get to choose our character's name. And in honor of my sweet, sweet puppy dog, who's laying here next to me, we're going to go with Odin. Odin is going to be the our character that we start with. Uh, we are going to go with probably realistic damn. Oh God, this might hurt really bad. We're going to go with... Uh, I really do want to try realistic. We're going to start and learn the painful way. Enable death. Choose if the heroes are able to die in the battlefield. Not yet. <laughs> There's too much about this game that I don't know. All right, here we go, guys. By the way, I really do need to say a couple things. Uh, if you do like this video, please remember to like and subscribe because it really helps get this video out to the wide world. Also, leave a comment because it helps the algorithm. Also, if you are interested in buying Bannerlord, you have not done so yet. There is a link in my pinned comment for Green Man Gaming where you can buy this game. You will get a Steam key and it, a little bit goes to me to help me out and pay the bills. So with all that being said, friends, go ahead and settle back for an adventure in this Let's Play for Mount and Blade Bannerlord. It's been so freaking long. Nathanos, brother, it's been three days now and we've been tracking these bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. Well, we kill them, my friend. How are we going to rescue Phazos and Alea? Are we up for a fight? Ooh, we have a little bit of a tutorial. I might skip the basic combat tutorial uh, because I'm relatively familiar with how to use the combat system, he says before he dies. We're gonna say we have no time to lose. We can do more if we split up. Yes, always split your party. Time is of the essence, Nathanos. You're not screwing around with my brother, but you actually are my brother. Uh, one other thing, we want people to take us seriously. We may be leading men into battle soon. Let's give our family a name and a banner like those nobles do. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. Rut row. I actually don't know what just happened. Did we Were we not able to give ourselves a, uh, a banner? Leave. Oh, here we go. We select our family name from this screen. Okay, cool. So we're going to go with, uh, oh God, Odin Thorson. That is going to be our family name, Thorson, a relatively badass. We will go with something blood red because that is how we roll. And why not the sign of, do we have like a Rhodesian Ridgeback, my puppy? No, uh, let's go with something, e oh, horse-like, eagle-like, or dragon-like. I'm always a huge, huge fan of. We'll go with a horse rearing back. That sounds good to me. This is so cool, guys. There's so much... Like, there's so much care and love that has gone into this game. Welcome, guys, to Bannerlord. Welcome to Calradia. Oh, sweet mother of God. It's huge. Look at the map right now. We have a ton and ton and ton of stuff going on. Also, it's so big. All the names you see are actual major city names. The smaller cities are kind of tucked away, which is crazy right now. Okay, we've got a long road ahead of us in this Let's Play. As you can tell, I'm a little freaking excited. So let's take a second to get familiar with some of the different screens and then we'll start exploring the game. We have our actual character skill screen or our character uh, screen itself. Free focus points for increasing your learning limit in individual skills, okay. So leadership, how to ma uh, maintain high morale in your party, assemble and lead armies, gotcha. Oh wow, what is this? Now we have traits apparently that either we have to choose or we're going to automatically get. I feel like these are things that we actually have to choose. Pick combat, pick raise the meek. Oh my God, I'm so excited. There's so much stuff here. Small XP bonus. Oh, we have to pick between the two. Okay. I might look at those a little bit more in depth in a bit. We have three skills, four skills that we're going to be able to choose from. So let's go ahead and grab extra HP from the polearm tree. Riding is vigorous, 6% uh, to horse speed or hit points. Ride on the map with as much speed as possible. So riding is a map speed, or sorry, a map skill, along with, it seems like, along with a, um, a in-game, in-combat skill. Cavalry attacks cause 10% more morale loss. Awesome. And leadership. So small XP bonus per day to party or medium... XP bonus per day to tier one, two, three troops. I kind of like raise the meek. 
because re replacing your losses and getting them to the point where they're not going to die, at least, in, again, all of my stuff I'm going to be comparing to the older Mountain Blade Warband, so we'll give this a shot. Th this seems like you can kind of get the first couple levels through very, very quickly. No other small things I can assign. Can I actually just put one more point into leadership? I can. Great. What is this? Learning limit. Interesting. So maybe this is how far, this is the cap on this skill. And this is all the experience we still have to get. Okay, that's fair. I think that's somewhat accurate. Again, all this is new, so I will be probably telling you things that may not be quite accurate. We'll figure that out as we go. Inventory, nothing to, uh, to say for Odin's party. What do we actually have equipped? We start with a kite shield, a spear, and a spatha, or spatha. Lovely. Our quest is to rebuild our clan, increase our dinar by 1,000, grow your party to 20 men, reach clan tier 1. Clan tier, this is kind of cool. Where do we look about clan? Oh, right here. Uh, so the Odin Thorson family, clan role. I imagine this is where we start talking about things like companions as well. So we're going to have members, uh, companions, parties. This is so cool. There's so much stuff here to look at. Oh, I will be fanboying so hard for so very- Oh, double clicking, by the way. Well, what did- hang on, what did this do? This is far away. Okay, it does- It is speeding up the game when you double click, so be careful. Probably the same thing with, uh, control space, basically. So, we are- we have factions, and then clans within those factions. So, this is for- these guys are with the Southern Empire. They're both part of the, uh, Leonia Pardes. Is that the right pronunciation? Caravan of Dorian, the Cargo Master. Very, very cool. Let's go back to our quest tree real quick. So, investigate Neretz's, uh, Neretz's folly. Learn more about your artifact. We have an artifact? Did I miss that part? Also, apparently, we don't quite have to know anything about our brothers. Where did our brothers go? It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so flippin' excited. Let's, I don't know, let's do some exploring. What can we do in this game? Let's go chat with somebody first. Let's go chat with Temion. This is cool. The city show you how many recruits are available for hire. Oh, I love the screen. Now then, come no closer. No, no voiceover yet. One cannot be too cautious. I would ask for your name. I am Odin. Let's be polite. We'll be, we'll be, uh, we'll be polite. May I ask your name? Hemian of House Leo, uh, Leonio Parties. What happens when we click on this? We get a little tree, which is cool. Faron is the leader, and then we've got, like, many companions. That's so awesome. I shall remember you. Will you, though? Will you? So we can deliver demands, something we can discuss. Have a quick question. Nothing going on. What is this folly? The Great Battle of Pendriek in the year 1077 led a coalition of forces by the Kuzats, Aseri, uh, uh, sorry, Azurai and a coalition of Sturgeons, Batanians, and Vlandians. Also, pronunciations I will probably be fixing up. Uh, Victors didn't fare much better. Okay, so there's something about the battle. Lucan has some thoughts about it. Lucan is the ruler of the Northern Empire. Fair enough. Cool stuff. And there we go. Oh, uh, by the way, remember that this is early access, guys. They did release Bannerlord into early access, so expect some weird behaviors every so often, but I don't know, personally, with how long they've waited, I feel like this is going to be a pretty well-developed game. Like, I feel like they're releasing early access just to, to, to cover their bases, but it's probably ready for full release. Well, I don't know. That's my that's my assumption. Eight years, and they've been really, uh, really careful about stuff. Let's go into Zestia. So the lands around Zestia are owned mostly by Faron, the Archon of the Southern Empire. Village is going through hard times. Farm tools are rusty and broken. Brush and weeds are reclaiming the outermost fields. We can buy troops, sorry, recruit troops, buy products, take a walk through the lands, take a hostile action. Uh, relatively basic stuff. I don't want to recruit anyone yet. We have 1,000 dinar. Full health, zero influence, battle ready troops, one. Number of consumable items, two. Party morale, 55. God, so cool. So, so cool. Let's go to a city. Let's go up to here to Amateus. Amatatus? Amatatus? Some of the names I'm, I'm going to be, like, butchering, so my apologies. Uh, this is set, like I said, though the game itself in the lore is set about 200 years before the events of Mount and Blade Warband. The time period is very similar to uh, actual historic uh, historical age, the migration period. So 
where we had a lot of invasions across uh, Europe from Mongol hordes, stuff like that. Uh, Romans trying to hold on to their territory. So Amatatus is governed by Tynops, an our very heavy Greek names here, Greek influence. An archon of Western Empire town is clearly going through some hard times. You hear some complaints about prices, shortages, and greedy merchants. God, it's like right now. <laughs> uh, we can go to the arena. Let's go to the arena, see what's going on there. Practice fight. Need to learn more about the arena with talking to the master. I will enter the arena and chat with the arena master. Oh, this looks so good. This looks so good. Let's go ahead and chat with our friend. Hello, friend. You come from the games? The big fights? We're out of luck. We won't have any tournaments soon. Yada, yada. He'll probably tell us that we can experiment and do a little bit of practice. So you pay us how much you're probably blah, 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 blah. But I think now that we talk to him, oh, you have to hold tab to leave. Fair enough. Can we now practice fight? Let's do a practice fight. Let's see how this combat system is all set up. Let's see if we can javelin somebody in the face. Okay, lead the target. Remember, lead the target. Oh, holy crap, right in the hip. I got him. I'm so, I'm so excited. First kill of Mountain Blade. Some poor guy knocked the hell out right in the back, man. You know what? I feel like javelins to the face. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I forgot my sword. I forgot my sword. <laughs> and there we go. We were able to best one opponent, but we got a little bit. Uh, we got so a little tiny bit, kind of money there, a little tiny bit of money. I'll let my bruises and my wounded ego heal. Ooh, pretty aqueduct there in the background. What else can we do in the town center? Take a walk around the town tavern district. Let's go to the tavern. Oh, oh I can't get over this, guys. I cannot get over this. This is going to be nothing but banner lord for so long. Can we chat with random townsmen? Oh, cool, they get like little tiny bits of information. You get nine gold if you take some kind of a material that I didn't quite pay attention to. Uh, we've got the tavern keeper here. Hello, friend. Hello, what a beautiful mustache you've got. How can I help you? Uh, do we have, do you know of anyone who might have a test? This is actually really familiar. I like that they've kept a lot of similar systems so you don't quite feel so lost with the new game. Let's see if we can go to the castle. There is no one inside the castle, so we can't go there when no one's hanging around or no one's not there. You can recruit troops now. That's interesting. You can re recruit troops from a city. Kind of cool. Recruit two. What is this second slot here? A new troop will be available. Okay. Fascinating. You don't have a high enough relation to require this troop. You have zero. You need five. Okay, buttermilk. <laughs> Theros, the oil presser. Let's hire from Buttermilk. What does this do? If we actually confirm, maybe we get like a little bit of trade. We'll hire one person just to play around with it. Enter the smithy. We have, oh, hello. There is an entire smithing system to the game now. Oh my God, how did I not know, to, know this? I'm, you know, in one hand I'm sad, but I'm, on the other hand, I'm very happy that I really didn't give myself too many spoilers for the game. It's so cool to experience all this for the first time. So we already have a cross guard. We already have the grip and we already have the pommel, but you can change the different types here to make your own custom sword. How freaking cool. Oh my God, this is so flipping awesome. You can change the size of the sword, which apparently changes like down to like a, almost a gladius size. It looks like changes the weight, the weapon reach. I am so excited. We're not going to mess around too much with smithing yet. A lot of this first couple episodes, by the way, will be exploration, trying to figure out what we can do. Um, let's see if we can't ask someone about, look at that smile, <laughs> look at that shit eating grin. Let's go see, do we have an encyclopedia menu like we used to in the good old days? What do we got through here? This must be, I'm a surgeon? Calculating? Calculating. I don't know what this means. That might be our background because of the clan. Did I set our, us to... I did set us to surgeon. Okay, fair enough. Kick from... You cannot kick the main hero from the party. You're fired, sir! Okay, this is our kingdom screen. Where we have to be in a kingdom. Our party is... Um, how do we see who's in our party here? Two of 21. I can't see any information about said party. Can I uh, take a look at my recruits or anything? We're Doth one. Promote one's troops. Disband total income, stuff like that. Fine. Inventory, party. Oh, right here, under party specifically. Uh, there's our Imperial recruit. Let's take a look at how this looks. Upgrade to infantryman or Imperial archer. 
fair enough. Do we still have like a good old encyclopedia? That was one of my favorite things about the old game. Nothing here. Let's go ahead and save the game as well. Because you know me, I will probably wind up breaking something down the road. You need to be part of a kingdom. Interesting that there's no... As far as I can tell, there's not a, a general information screen. That's somewhat new. All right, well, let's be a little careful. I don't want to start a brawl just yet. Oh, I'm so excited. What I want to know is, and I just can't hide it. I want to know who, what factions are, are part of which, you know, which kingdom. I, or which, uh, I guess, which icons. I don't even know what, you know, what we've got here. You're part of the Western Empire. Here we go. So to pull up the encyclopedia... How do we get this from any regular menu? It's not through here. Hey, real quick, let's take a look at some gameplay options while I'm thinking about it. Mouse movement, this is fine. Combat AI, a number of corpses high, of course. Uh, combat difficulty is high as well. Casualties, experience, stuff like that. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, do we have any way to pull up the encyclopedia within? Fair enough, there we go. When in doubt, check the friggin' menu system. We've got a kick bash, which is E. We can crouch now, switch weapons. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be our life for the next, like, couple of months. Um, so, in. There we go. There is our menu. That's what I was hoping to find. So, the kingdoms. We have Northern, Southern, Western Empire. Interesting. So, do they have one empire that they follow, or do, have they split? Uh, the current conflict which broke out when the late emperor was assassinated is- Okay, so it looks like the empire, uh, the Calradian empire has split. I hope I'm pronouncing Calradian pr uh, correctly as well. So, we've got a, a decent mix of factions here. Do we know anything about faction relations at all? I don't know how to find out how we are, uh, how, how we are kind of viewed by other factions. So flippin' awesome, though. Rule, hang on, did I actually, if I go to the clan, if I go to the Western Empire, does it give me any information about overall how our relationship is? Interesting. They're devious. They're generous, devious, daring, and cruel. That's a... Fascinating mix, or is it that person in particular? I think it's the Empire. No, it is that person. You are merciful and honest. There we go. I like Milos. What a great guy. All right, let's go around and try to find a fight. Let's go recruit some folks. I've been dragging you around trying to uh, learn more about the game for too long, my friend. Space still pauses the game. And let's go hang around the Southern Empire for a bit. That's where we started off at. Let's go ahead and recruit some troops. We shall grab all of you. Lovely young, uh, young strapping bucks here who are going to join our party and die for the cause. What I want to do is find one of the leaders. Anyone inside here? We've got Defenders 183. By the way, if you haven't seen, the only footage I saw of Bannerlord was a massive battle where you can control squads and stuff like that. So apparently you will be able to have quite a bit of troops on the ground at any given time. A tab will let you get out of the menu. Good to know. Yeah, I want to find a lord in order to uh, ask them where the king is or, or whoever the leader is. Let's go chat with this chase on. I hope we're not bad uh, with anyone yet, like bad relations. You're traveling to Sanopia, not chasing us. Aren't you just the handsomest? That's close enough. Hello, sir. I'm Odin. Please don't hurt me. Of the most illustrious families in the annals of the empire. Okay, cool. Let's, um... Something to discuss. Proposing an alliance. Enter the service of Emperor Lucan. How would you serve us? Um, my sword, I would pledge allegiance to you. Your loyal Oh, is this the king? Apparently I your clan tier needs to be one or two. Okay, my sword is yours for the right sum. This is the old mercenary quest, where they basically hire you on as a mercenary group, I believe. Who are you? Are you the actual king? Can I can I get information about them? Yes! Uh, Chason is an Archon of the Empire and the head of the Naretzes family and backing Luson in the whole shebang. Okay, fair enough. Empire culture, Northern Empire. How do I click on the Empire? So Chason actually is the leader. No, that's the family. Okay, so Luson is the leader of the Northern Empire and this guy is one of his... Uh, his, you know, followers or what have you. 
And so you're able to do the mission or do the quest where, not quest, the, um, the choice to follow them, it looks like, right off the gate with anybody, which is kind of cool. How do we get our clan experience up? I don't want to be the surgeon. I want to be the scout. What does this do? I'm sure there's something cool about that, about what whatever that option was. We may also want to start going into some taverns and inns to try to find some of our companions, if that's still a thing. I wonder if you can rename them these days. Run, villagers, run. We will protect you. No, just kidding. You're on your own. <laughs> I ain't protecting you for anything. All right, let's try to find a fight before the end of this episode. Recruit troops. Can't recruit any more troops from Varagos. All right, we're looking for baddies. Has anyone seen... Okay, here's the mountain bandits who are just ripe for getting murdered or we're going to die horribly. Ooh, hang on. There's three mountain bandits right here that I want to get to. But everyone else is in the flipping way. How fast are we, by the way? We're 3.9, which is super slow. Okay, he's riding... A oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. If they turn on us, I wonder if that system, the old system of where people kind of turn around into you. Okay, we're 5-2 during the day. What I mean is, uh, when you when you kind of hit an enemy, sometimes the people around you are pulled into the combat. So I'm curious if there's still a range. God, you're so flipping quick, and I'm on horseback. We've got this, though. We're going to hunt them down. We're going to eat them for breakfast in the trees. Probably not the smartest for my horse. Why are you so quick? Why do they seem like they're catching up to us? 5-2. There we go. There's a little bit of a delay after leaving the woods. Okay. What do you want with us? There are five mountain bandits. No idea how tough they are. Our strength seems to be a little bit in our favor. Surrender or die. You'll never take us alive. We get to see our actual fight. We are going to attack. Oh, here comes the battle system. All right. So we've got brand new options for squad management, by the way. Uh, we have F. Okay. So we have the traditional menu F1. Whoa. F1. Very cool. What kind of stuff do we have? Face the enemy. To enemy. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God. Charge. 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 F1. F3. Go, 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 go. They've got spears. We don't. Oh, God. That's a great start. The swing is much faster than I expected. Oh, God. It's going to take a minute. Look at the horse movement. The horse has this wonderful sidestep, too. We might have already won. Is friendly fire? Oh, that was it. Good job, team. I didn't do a damn thing. Let's hang around here for just a second. Maybe I should have taken that, uh, <laughs> the tutorial. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. So Z's able to get off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kick you. I've come back. I'm sorry. Okay. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Well done. We have defeated the enemy. We lost four of our troops. We killed all five of theirs. <laughs> gain one renown, gain one morale. Beautiful stuff. And we're able to get some new gear. Oh, I'm so... What is this, butter? Oh, it butter butter. Not like, I thought it was like a hat or something. Baggy trunks. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so tired. It is like six in the morning. Um, all right, we'll just take some gear and be on our way. There we go. We have started our quest. Hey, do we have any party members that are ready to, to level up? We do. We're going to go with some infantrymen. Right out of the gate. Oh, hey, can we see troop trees through this fancy system? Um, not quite a troop tree. We could go with like, let's look at the empire troops. Oh, hey, we, okay. So if you click on somebody, you can find the tree. Very cool. So we've got Imperial Legionary. You know what? This might be a good thing to look at real quick before we get going. Um, Imperial Legionary, which is sword board, uh, proficiencies. God, the proficiencies are really low. I'm really used to Pendor stats though. So that's not really fair. Uh, Bucellarii. So awesome horseman, I assume. Crossbowman. What else we got? We've got Vlandia. Boar champion. Caravan guard. I'm trying to find the tree and I assume I need to do like right here. These are, maybe these are the nightly uh, recruits that you can get farther once you have a castle because they're in their own tree. Let's pick like the infantry. There you go. So sharpshooter, are the Vlandians known for their skill in archery? Because it seems like these guys are relatively far down the tree. Light cavalry, sergeant, swordsman. It's been so long since I've read about anything with the, the, the kind of the lore of 
Calradia that I, I really don't remember much about the troop trees. And I don't even know which groups have what in terms of, uh, you know, what 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 is, what, are, what are all these different factions have in terms of their best troop? Sturgeon Veteran Bowman? All of the, uh, the proficiencies seem relatively similar. If I'm looking at the end numbers, like most all of the end troops have 130. This guy has a massive shield to hide behind, which seems cool. I'm sure there'll be more stuff coming out here in the next couple of days, though. Hey, what's this little blue symbol? What does it mean? Glowing blue rainbows. Hey, Regia, come no closer. Uh, I would ask you for your name. Uh, my name is Odin, madam. Cool. I shall remember your name. Can you... Now, why did you have a blue thing? Can you tell me anything about the battle? Battle. Oh, maybe this was part of our main quest because she had more information about this little, uh, the quest that we're on here. My husband spoke frequently of it. He was one of the Emperor's trusted commanders. He could not stop Niretzes from marching to defeat, but he managed to salvage something of a disaster. Lead a group of guardsmen out the back. Wow, so your husband ran away? Mm-hmm. I'm curious of what we have. Do we actually have an item somewhere? Okay, so we actually did manage to trigger the quest to another level, which is great. Let's go see if we can... There's some sheep here. Uh, recruit some more troops. We're sitting at 852 gold. Nothing to write home about yet. Can I go, like, get some sheepies? No, I think these are, like, a raw material. Did they? Did it show that they were stopped here for a minute? That's kind of cool. Wow, well, I think uh, we've been talking nonstop for 30 minutes. I do want to get a cut in here because I want to put this video up on YouTube's. Thanks, guys, so much for being patient with me as I explore the game. I hope you're going to sit back and settle into this Let's Play. I'm going to be pumping these videos out a ton over the next couple of days, hours and days, because I'm so excited about Bannerlord. Again, if you did like the video, please do like the video as it helps to bump it up in the search results. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you know anything about watching streams. I'm happy to get... Try to keep the story spoilers out, but if you know some information about troops, uh, please do let me know. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to join our Discord, there is a link in the more description field below. And again, if you do want to buy this game, there is a Green Man Gaming link in the pinned comment uh, that will help. It gives you a Steam key, just the normal Steam purchase, but it happens to give creators a little bit of extra money. So until next time, friends, I wish you well. I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Take care and I'll see you then.